UNC has a very good program, um, not only in its top tier re line of research faculties, but also has a very good uh, translational and clinical track for clinicians. That's one of the reasons why I picked uh, UNC as my top choice. This program, this department is highly geared to learners that have, even if you're not independent yet, because your cup is empty and you just don't know, you're independent enough to seek out that knowledge. So our PhD students come into our program with a wide range of backgrounds, but yet they join laboratories that are focused on some of the most serious illnesses that society deals with today. I think DPET's a great place for people of all kinds of backgrounds. Um, so someone might have a pharmacy background, engineering, chemistry, biology, but um, they're able to bring in a different perspective. The collaborative atmosphere at UNC is, is almost like no other place I've ever been. At UNC, those silos just don't seem to exist where we work well with our medicine colleagues. We have collaborators in public health, in nursing, and dentistry. Um, that is only supported by collaborations that DPET faculty have with uh, pharmaceutical industry. We have close collaborations with folks at both uh, North Carolina State University in Raleigh as well as Duke University in, in Durham. So you have this um, perfect storm almost of a collaborative nature within the campus, but then also a collaborative nature amongst academic institutions, industrial or industry partners, as well as regulatory agencies here in, in the triangle. So I really like that this program collaborates a lot with not only people within our school and within UNC, but my lab in particular collaborates very extensively with the Duke Clinical Research Institute. Um, we have a lot of people come in to talk at our seminars and various classes from around the Research Triangle area and really all over the East Coast and, and that's a great experience for us students. Our PhD students are exposed to a number of different areas of research. That includes pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. It includes drug metabolism and transport. It includes pharmacogenetics and other specific skill areas. For therapeutic areas, we work in a wide variety of those. Um, we have expertise in pediatrics, in cardiovascular diseases, in infectious diseases, in uh, liver diseases, in hematology and oncology, among others. So we are on a health sciences campus, so even beyond the pharmacy school or our division, we're neighbored by a lot of other different health sciences schools, so the School of Public Health and the Medical School, just to name a few. And I feel like even after the day is over and I go wait for my bus, I hear all of these other people who are kind of talking amongst themselves and they're so focused and so enthusiastic about their work that it's just, I feel very immersed in health science research. If you're a learner, you like a challenge and you can seek out the knowledge you need and know when you don't know, you're definitely gonna try here because that's what I feel like it's geared towards.